Okay, so here we have a Dell Venue 8 Pro, which is a Windows 8.1 uh, tablet, uh, 8 inch, and it runs a, an Atom a Z3740D uh, CPU. Now that uh, means that it actually has two cores. Uh, I believe it shows as four cores uh, because it has hyper threads, but basically it's actually quite powerful, much more powerful than, the, than its predecessor, and it's very capable of running Windows 10. Um, my experience with this is that Windows 10 runs just as smoothly as Windows 8, but of course you got Windows 10. So why not roll it up and get it to current? So um, let's show you how to do that because it's not obvious. So just take it out of the box if you haven't already, which of course you have. Make sure it's charged up because of course it won't be able to do anything much without having it charged. This one, this one is. Then what you're going to need to do is get yourself um, a... USB hub like this one or like this one. Uh, the problem with these are that they have uh, type C and not type C connectors and this unit has a micro USB uh, connector which is uh, like the old Blackberry connector. Um, you know it's well actually it's called a Blackberry. It's common on lots of things but in my case I have lots of Blackberry cables like this so I have to get an adapter uh, to make this work. So I have to Frankenstein a cable you can probably buy a single cable that does this, but uh, uh, sorry, a, a single hub that does this, but then you'll be stuck with a hub that connects to uh, a micro USB, which nothing has anymore. So uh, that's probably not going to do you much good. So let's just plug this in. So to get this to the most current Windows operating system, you're going to need to have a much more current BIOS. So let's take a look at how you get that. First thing you do is just search for Dell Venue 8 Pro, whatever your model is, BIOS. And my case, and in almost everybody's case, it, uh, Google will find it immediately. And we can just click download file. If you want to know what's included in this, you can go to the uh, Dell site, go to support and go to the driver page, and then just select the category of BIOS. You can expand it and you can select older versions and it will give you a lovely synopsis of what's in them. So uh, let's uh, rip through a couple of these just so you can see what the enhancements are. So. This has to do with back and recovery. You probably don't care. Uh, this one uh, has to do with uh, CPU performance of Windows 10, uh, things like that. So um, if you care about that, you can go through and read them. Uh, most people don't care. Just update to the most current one. You'll be fine. I did see a number of people saying that they were having troubles with the newer BIOSes, showing up more CPU than they would like. But I have found that that's not the case. I have found that the uh, that they chew just as much CPU as the older ones. So uh, same thing with the operating system. I've heard people say that Windows 10 is using more CPU. That's not been my experience. So I don't know what they're doing, but I don't really care. Uh, there we are. So now we've got the BIOS downloaded. I'm just going to uh, move that file from where it is currently onto a memory stick that I'm going to plug into that, la that uh, tablet. Send to Now I'll take the USB stick over to the tablet, I will fire up the tablet, and we will do the install of the BIOS before we even try to do the upgrade to Windows 10. If, by the way, your machine is hosed and you have to wipe it out and go to Windows 10, it'll still work, but you'll want to flash it very quickly afterwards because there are some things that just don't work very well with the old BIOSes. I'm just going to power it up. Okay, so I could have downloaded the BIOS directly on here, but, you know, without having a keyboard and a mouse, it's a bit of a pain. So it's uh, just easier to do it on a USB stick. So that's why I did it that way. So let's plug the USB stick in. And while I'm here, I'm going to plug in the other thing you're going to need to upgrade to Windows 10. Well, you don't need, but you're really going to want, which is a lovely mouse. So um, you don't need because it's a touchscreen and you can do it through the touchscreen, but why bother? Um, okay, so here we go. And my BIOS is right there. That's the one I just downloaded. And yes, I want to update. And are you sure you want to do this? Oh yes, I'm very sure. Uh, start to flash, click OK. I'll get rid of this window because I don't need it. Uh, I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit and wait. So 
So as you can see, this is finished. This is updated quite nicely. It's working fine, no particular issue. Uh, so what we have to do now is power it down. And I mean completely down, not a reboot, down. There we go. Okay, now it's off. Now what we need to do is take our memory stick and go uh, download Windows 10 and put it on here. Okay, so now what we have to do is get our um, Windows 10 Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. There it is. And make sure you do not click Update Now. That's not what you want to do. You want to download the tool. And there it is. Then run the tool. Okay, so now we have our uh, download tool ready to go from uh, Microsoft, the Media Creation Tool. Click Accept. And uh, we don't want to upgrade this machine. We want to create a USB stick. So click Next. Now here's where it's uh, easy to get confused. You're going to want to select 64-bit. Um, and the reason for that is if you take a look at the chip that Intel has provided, it is a 64-bit chip. Where does it say it here? There it is, yes. Um, however, uh, it is not a UEFI BIOS and Windows 10 just will not install on it uh, running 64-bit. So you have got to get 32-bit. So just take note of that. Next, uh, jam a USB stick in. All right, and next, and I'm not gonna make you wait. This will take a while. Uh, in my case, about uh, probably 10 minutes. We have an extremely fast connection, so on a fast computer, won't take very Okay, so take your stick, plug it into your USB hub. Now, this is uh, the interesting part. You, what you need to do is make sure it boots off of it. So how you do that's pretty straightforward. You press the volume down and you press the power button. And you wait a few seconds. There it is. And you can just let go and boom, you're into the BIOS. And the mouse works in here, which is really nice. So let's bring this up a little more so you can see. Let's go to boot. And we will change the boot to USB drive. There it is. So it will boot off of that first. All right. Now let's click exit and save. There we go. And that'll be booting up off of this stick now. It seems to be taking a minute here, which is just what we want. So hopefully this comes up and we can just do our install. Yes, we are good. Okay, next. Install now. And I'm going to wipe this thing clean. It's going to come up and ask uh, for licensing and then a partition for partition information. And I will wipe the partitions out completely. And then the system will rebuild them on the fly all by itself. You do not have to put the partitions on manually, it will do it. The setup will do it. There we go. I accepted the license. Next. Uh, I want to perform a custom install and I am going to toast this thing so you Click on every one of the drives, select delete, bye. So I won't make you wait, watch this. I'll get back to you when the install has advanced. And we're up to the mini setup wizard, but as you can see right now, it's moving along quite nicely. One note is that this will be running very, very slowly because this is a USB 2 connection which is going to make the transfer from the USB stick in quite slow. But don't worry about that. That's not really an indication of how it will operate. It's an indication of the connection speed. So just let it run. You can see right now it's at a whopping 1%. And if this was USB 3, it would already be probably at, I don't know, maybe 10%. Well, that's exaggerating. Maybe 6 or 7%. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let it run and we'll go from there. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Okay, so here we are at the Mini Setup Wizard, and I'm going to plug in a keyboard into the USB hub because I can. There we go. At this point, I'm in Canada, not the US, so I will just select Canada. And of course, I'm using the mouse here. I'll move it in so you can see it. There we go. Keyboard uh, layout is correct. Uh, I do not want an additional layout. And the Wi-Fi is not there because uh, it does not have uh, the driver yet. So I'm going to say I don't have internet and I'm going to continue with limited setup. I'm going to put X in here for the username and skip and I don't care what a password. Um, sure, I'll use the online speech recognition. There we go. Sure, I'll accept. Uh, basically, I like all of the defaults here for Microsoft. And the reason why these are all separated in separate pages, in case you're wondering, is because of, well, primarily because of the European Privacy Law, GDPR, the General Data Protection uh, Regulation. So, and um, so uh, that requires Microsoft to put everything on a single page, which, or sorry, on multiple pages, but uh, you have to have a, a specific question uh, with a specific clear answer, um, you cannot group things, so they have to break it up, and that's what they've done. Okay, so I can now right click on the start button and I can go to device manager, and we will see a whole pile of things that do not have drivers. And that's because we didn't have an internet connection for it to download them. There we go. So what I've got to do now is take my USB stick, which I'm doing right now, and I'm going to go to the Dell website. I'm going to download the wireless network card for this driver, that is. All right, so here we are on our PC, and I have taken my USB stick, and I'm just going to plug it in. There it is. Now I will go and I find the wireless network card driver. So I will put Dell Venue, a Pro, except this time I don't want the BIOS, I want the uh, uh, driver. There it is. Wonderful. Okay, so that took me there. Now I will network. And that is it right there. So I will select download. And I will put that on the stick. Now we'll unplug the stick and I'll take it over to the tablet. Okay, so I'm going to take the USB stick, plug it back in. There it is. Well, let's just open it and run it. Well, I say it, I mean the installer, of course. Just on principle, I'll get it off the stick. I don't like working with files on sticks. And let's just run it. English is fine, US is fine. Accept. Sure. And I believe that is our network card. There they be. And I'll restart later because I don't think I need you to get this to work. So I'm going to, going to add this to a network now. Boom, I'm connected. Now I can just go through here. And uh, what I could do is I could go through each of these and I could say update driver and it would probably go find them. But uh, instead of doing that, I'm just showing you this, that that's one way to go. What I'm going to do is just do a Windows update, and that will almost certainly find all of them. Let's find out. I'm not sure what it will find. I'm just very sure, but far from positive. Update and security. Windows update. Do 
just for fun, let's see if this touchscreen works. I don't think it will. No, it doesn't work yet because that's one of the devices that is here. So we'll just wait for this to run. I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit and wait. So let's just take a look at Device Manager again. And while we're doing that, we'll also go out and let's verify that this has been activated. And by the way, I'm 60% sure it has been. Yep, Windows has been activated. So if I use my keyboard and I type in activate, I can tell by the way, because there's no alerts uh, there, so. Yo, Windows 10 Pro activated. Yep, and it pulled the uh, license key from the BIOS, so you don't have to, you don't even have to know what that is. Okay, so let's get out of that. You don't have to know what that key is, I should say. Let's go down to updates and we'll go to Windows Update. And it's already rolling. Let's take a look at the battery. So I've still got half the battery left here. It says 58%. That's pretty good. Considering all we've done with it. And uh, let's take a look at the hard drive and see how much uh, space we have while we're waiting for this to finish off. So we'll go here. Of course, the hard drive's an SSD. That, of course, is just the video card uh, driver being updated, that flashing, so nothing to worry about. We'll let it finish. Okay, so I've got 13 gig free. That's okay. And uh, let's see, there's other hardware to install. Anything else still going? Yeah, we're, we'll wait for this cumulative update to at least uh, get moving here. And uh, let's slide this over. Let's look at uh, Task Manager and see what we have left for, not left, let's see what we have for CPU here. Yeah, so two full cores, two hyper threads on that Atom uh, Z3740D. Uh, um, out of the two gig of memory, we look like we're eh, we're doing okay. And um, yeah, everything looks pretty happy there. So let's keep moving, get rid of that. It's a few devices that are still clearing off, but they are all going to go shortly. We'll wait for this cumul cumulative update to finish before we do the restart. So now we'll just go to dell.ca or dell.com, depending on where you are, dell.uk.co, I suppose, and so on and so forth. I'm in Canada, so I'm going to use dell.ca. I'm going to select support and product support, accept all the cookies. And this is, accept all of the cookies, and this is a uh, Venue Pro. So here we change it to uh, Windows 10, 32-bit. All right. So, well, let's take a look. These are all the drivers. And then select the uh, Intel Atom series driver, uh, the chipset, download. Then uh, open that file and start the install. The video driver just got updated and that, uh, of course, changed the orientation. All right, so uh, let's uh, take a look at Device Mangler, see if there's anything in here. That's not finished. So everything's here except this unknown device. Um, I don't know what that is, but I can see, well, I can hear. Sound is working. The uh, touch screen is working. Uh, obviously the drive itself, the disc is working. The external devices are working. Uh, so I don't think this is anything to worry about. It's probably just a card reader or something to that effect. The uh, network adapters uh, are happy. Um, 
yeah, I think we're in good shape here. So uh, let's just take a quick look at uh, Task Manager for fun. And we'll wrap this thing up. There's Task Manager. Yeah, looks okay. Let's take a quick look at uh, hard drive, see what's left for space. Uh, eh, 10 and a half gig, which, you know, if you're just goofing around with uh, checking your mail and stuff, this is still ideal. And you can see it's nice and fast. If you're watching Netflix on it, it's going to be fine. Um, yeah, this looks just great. So if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.